All right, so I just got back from my trip to Colorado where I went snowboarding, my kids went skiing for ski week, and I brought these cameras here, the GoPro, the Insta360 X3, as well as the DJI Action 3. Now I'm not gonna go into full specs in this video about the X3, I actually did that on my full review video, so if you guys wanna see that one, make sure you guys use the link above as well as down below in the video description. Now even though these are all considered action cameras, I personally like having two separate cameras when it comes down to just durability in general. The 360 the camera definitely a lot more delicate because you do have those exposed lenses the glass is exposed compared to the action cameras where it does have that removable glass on the outside so while they are very similar as far as being categorized as an action camera i still separate them because i will put these two here in of course different situations than something like the 360 camera. So in this video, I just wanna talk to you about my favorite features of the Insta360 X3. And for me, the number one feature of the Insta360 X3 is the ability to just hit record, take one shot, but have unlimited ways to export out different angles. And what does that mean? Well, when I brought this out there, when I was going down the mountain with my kids, we pretty much only had one run to do because it was already the end of the day. So when I was on my snowboard, I was holding this stick out there behind me and the kids were following me on their skis. Now, if I only had one camera on the mountain with me, I would have to either point it at either myself, I'd point it either at my daughter or at my son while they're going down the mountain if I was using something like a standard action camera. The great thing about a 360 camera is that I'm able to then stick this thing way out there in between them, I could have it in front of me or behind me. And the great thing is that it's always shooting everything, it's shooting everything in 360. And the reason why that is so good is because when you go back into the Insta360 software, you can now reframe your shot to follow any subject you want. So I have one shot here, as you can see, filming all three of us on the top left. I then changed the angle of the camera, re-exported it back out. So the next shot I was filming was my daughter coming down the mountain, went back into studio, had the camera pointed at my son. So exported out another angle of my son coming down the mountain. And then finally exported one with me, showing me holding the camera behind me. I was able here on screen, as you can see, able to export out four different angles from one camera shot. And my next favorite feature of a 360 camera is that wide field of view. Now, even though these shoot super wide, there's nothing, of course, wider than something like this. The ability to shoot 360 and then pull that footage back. As you can see here on the left-hand side, I did put up a bunch of action camera shots, both from the GoPro as well as the Action 3. And these are the widest settings you can get. The one thing that's different here with the Insta360 is that when this thing is pointing out just like that, I'm able to get extremely wide angles where I'm able to show my entire body, whether I'm shooting from the front, shooting from the side, or shooting from the back. And with the ability to reposition that camera later on in pose, you can definitely get some unique low angles as well as low angles from the back. And my next favorite feature is this right here. We have a huge 2.29 inch screen on the X3. And the reason why it's so good to have something like this is because I was able to actually preview my footage while I was on the mountain. But the one thing I really like about this size screen is that you are able to now shoot something and then go back in just to make sure you captured it, go back in and preview it on a big bright screen. What's really cool about being able to have an extremely wide shot too is I was able to meet up with my buddy Sean who actually lives up in Colorado. So we did go down the mountains a bunch of times. I was able to film some shots of him. He was able to get some shots of me. We stopped and we chatted for a little bit and we are able to capture all that in 360. And Sean is a fellow YouTuber that does a lot of action camera reviews. So if you guys are interested in more details on this type of camera as well as some other ones, I'll leave Sean YouTube channel down below in the video description. Next feature we'll talk about is me mode and me mode is really cool because if you don't want to worry too much about keyframing and repositioning your video. Now once you hit record in me mode and stick this out there what's great is that it does use the two cameras but it actually stitches a video of the footage that's coming straight back here. So all the footage you're seeing on screen is not edited as far as not keyframed. This is actually one file that's coming from the Insta360 camera. Once you drop it into studio, it is already positioned just like that. And that's the great thing about me mode. You don't have to worry too much about keyframing. Everything will just be shot back this way. And all you do is re-export out that footage and you're good to go. And finally, one of the biggest time savers as far as editing goes is using the deep tracking AI system in the Insta360 Studio app. What's great about the Studio app as far as deep tracking goes is that all you have to do is select a subject or draw draw a square around that person and then hit start tracking on the app and the software will automatically track your subject and keep them in the middle of the frame. 
This will help you expedite a lot of your editing because if you do move the camera around a lot, it'll still keep you in the middle of the frame. Before I would have to keyframe it and then move that keyframe just over a little bit. And if I were to whip this camera around, I'd have to keyframe a bunch to smooth out that transition where here the deep tracking will actually do that for you in the software. Now, of course, if you wanted to get more custom and wanted to zoom in and out of your footage, you're going to need to keyframe it. But with deep tracking, it makes it super simple. And there it is, guys. I just want to talk to you about some of those main features that I really like on the Insta360 X3. And like I mentioned earlier, I have more in-depth videos of the Insta360 X3 as well as all the other ones that they do offer. And in those videos, I talk about battery life. I talk about all the photo modes. All those details are in separate videos. I'll make sure those are linked down below in the video description. I definitely think having a 360 camera is super clutch, especially when you're out there with multiple people, with your kids, just the ability to have one camera that can shoot everything. And like I said, reposition it all later on. Of course, all the links to the products I talked about in this video will be listed down below. So make sure you guys check those out. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Ultra Saucio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.